So what's up YouTube, it's me again, 4 and welcome to my full in-depth review of the Skull Candy 5050 earbuds. Um, as you know, I got them a while ago, not too long, but you know. Um, I unboxed them, did a first look review. Now I've been using them day to day, fairly regularly. So now I have no uncertainty about these things. I can tell you everything that I've found about them, and everything I now know about them. Okay, so first we're going to talk about the design real quick. The design, it's familiar, t both as in reference to traditional earbuds, and it's very familiar as in the Skullcandy design, but it's also kind of new. It has um, the kind of, you know, it comes up and then goes into your ear kind of design of, you know, say your Apple earbuds. But at the same time, it doesn't really hang in ear. Rather, the tips hold them in your ear, much like the FMJs and other Skull Candy buds do. Um, so it's a combo of both. Um, they do stick out of your ears a little bit much, but not as much as say the FMJs do. Um, they look pretty nice actually when you you know they're in the ear. Um, the cord is pretty you know it's pretty long have the rest of it hanging off screen but that's the full thing I bet to measure it I might take and put the measurement in the uh, doobly do because now it's there not over there or somewhere I don't know that's simpler actually whatever um, okay also the controls very nice controls let's uh, switch on this macro real quick there we go the controls the uh, where are they? They're there. The inline controls are very nice on this thing. The logo is nice and, you know, it's nicely placed. It's in the middle there. And just about the same as Apple. It says Skull on your back. But, you know, it's Apple's thing, but with Skull Candy. It, it works and looks practically the same. Well, it works the same way. It just looks a little bit different. There we go. Um, I've already told you guys how the logo looks, you know, it's nice on the back there, in chrome, on gr chrome on black, with a lining of chrome, and then more black, and then a really big thick piece of chrome, and then your buds, which normally would be black, but I have the comply foam tips on there, because I just prefer those. Further on design, the left and right markings, they're, they look exactly the same in the buds, but the letters... The letters are right. Let's bring that up to the camera again and try to. I'm about to fall. I don't know if you can see that, but it's right there where it goes to the wire. So it's much more discreet, you know. The part where the cable splits from one wire to two wires, you know, simple little thing. So skull candy on the side. Plug. The actual part that goes into your device looks the same as any other mic'd headphone. The logo is on, is from opposite sides when you see from this thing. It's kind of hard to show in video, but it's there. The case, I mean, I already showed you guys this. It's a semi-hard thing with a little pouch and then a uh, other piece of zip on it. I dropped it. Oh well. Um, yeah. So they, that's it on design. Um, the rubber. Um, nubs they come with are pretty, they're pretty soft, but they're kind of awkward. Comply foam tips feel a lot better. Um, they sound really good. You can, you can hear the bass a lot. Like on the Skull Crushers, you know, you feel the vibration from the second set of subwoofers. But these ones you can feel a little bit of vibration too when the volumes turn up enough. Um, it's it's very clear it doesn't over amplify the sound like other headphones have a tendency to do sometimes um, the the noise isolation which these have you know um, it's not cancellation but it's isolation which it's basically the same thing just it c costs less to produce isolation um, it works very well but it doesn't work too much to where you couldn't hear say a siren or someone yelling. Um, you you don't, wouldn't miss anything important. But then again, if the important thing is quiet, I don't think you'd be wearing earbuds in the first place. Um, 
the tips, I mean, whatever you want to do, whatever tips you like, you can take ahead and use. I like the foam, but, you know, you can also get the survival pack on Skull Candy that gives you a set of each kind. Um, like I said, the, the bass, you guys have been writing me for my last video about how to say that. Um, whatever. You know what I'm talking about, though. It doesn't really matter. It's very rich. You can, like I said, I mean, you can feel it vibrating, but you can also hear that the bass is there. You don't just, like, it's hard to explain. Um, like I said, it's included in the thing. You have the three rubber ones that are black, uh, you know, to match the design, but you can also, um, it doesn't, it doesn't come with foam, but you can put foam on. Because a nice thing about Skull Candy is that you can use any of their tips on any of their buds. You know, like I said, the case, the warranty is like any other Skull Candy. If they just fail, they give you new ones. If um, if you break them, they'll send you 50% off for your next thing. Um, that's it. I mean, like I said, really nice case. I can't get over that. I've never seen earbuds that give you a kind of hard case, and the logo is put on there pretty cool right there in the center. Um, yeah, so I'll put links to SkullCandy.com in the, in the underbar doobly doo thing, links to the page on SkullCandy for these, links to the other 5050 videos I have, uh, a link to my channel, why the hell not. Um, and other Skull Candy videos of mine, and cool ones I might find on YouTube, I don't know. And a link to the different kind of buds you can get, like the, the patch of pieces. All in all, um, I give them 5 out of 5. You know, 5 stars, 100%. What, however rating, I give them full. They're great. Um, I don't know why I have my iPod here. Oh yeah, I was going to show you the clarity of the mic. But... I don't really feel like it anymore. Just take my word for it, the mic is very clear. Um, works great on Skype calls, works great on, like, say, IMT Pain, great on voice notes. The, um, what's it called? Voice commands work really good. Um, I think you should get them. They're, you know, for their quality, they're really cheap. Um, for, in comparison to Apple ones, where if they break, oh well. Um, these have lifetime warranty and it's really good. Um, take that back. Apple, I think, has a little bit of warranty, but it's not as good and it's not lifetime. Lifetime and kick ass warranty. So, yeah. Um, but like I said, if you have 50 bucks to spend and you're going to get some earbuds, get these. Um, they're really good. Who knows? You might find a coupon or sale on Amazon. But, uh, like I said, I definitely recommend these. Again, if you have any questions about these, just give me a comment, send me a message, whatever. Um, I'll also put, I know someone asked my last video, I don't know if I've already said this, but I'll put the length of the cable from tip of earbud to tip of plug um, in the doobly doo underbar thing of a barber. I don't know what to call it anymore. YouTube, stop changing your stuff. Um, that's it, but until next time, it's me, Game J4. See you guys.